What's up guys, Sean here. So I've got the DJI Mavic Pro, and they recently did an update. Um, it's probably been a couple weeks now. Um, I meant to do this video when it came out, but I just got the iPhone X and they had some connection issues, so I had to wait for an update for that to, to fix itself. So I'm gonna fly the DJI Mavic Pro up in the air. We're gonna put it in pano mode and take um, a 360 degree panorama. It's pretty awesome that they added this to the native software of the DJI Mavic. Um, I've got it in my uh, Typhoon H um, and I've got it in my DJI Spark. So those are the three drones that I have that does this in the native software. Um, this is the first time I've ever done it with the DJI Mavic Pro. I've got videos up on my channel where I did use the DJI Mavic Pro, um, but I did it the long way and the hard way. Um, and up till a couple weeks ago, that's the only way you could do it unless you mounted a camera to it. So here we go. Without further ado, we're going to throw this thing up in the air. Um, I'm going to take a couple panos and uh, then we're going to go in the lab and we're going to stitch it all together. Let's do this, guys. All right, guys, we're recording the screen. So what I've done is I've switched over to photography mode. And then under the settings, I've gone to the camera and then I've clicked on photo on the pano and sphere mode so that's what we're set up in right now here we go take off the home point has been updated please check it on the map All right guys, so it's in hover mode. That means that it lifted up off the ground and it found its home spot. So something I wanna do is I wanna find a good, good spot to take a pano from. And I can see already that it'd be better if I'm in the grass. So we're going to pull up I think right there is going to be good. All right. I'm going to move over so that's in the center. And I'm going to rotate so we're kind of dead even. So I can kind of keep an eye on the pano. So right there guys. So we're 52 meters off of the ground. All right, that's a good spot. Let's do it. I don't know if you can see this video or not, guys, but it is screaming. It is going so fast. I just saw the blades. It's moving so fast. Look how fast it's going. It's a little windy out, so... It's also really bright, so I'm anxious to see what this does. All right, pano done, guys. So now I'm gonna bring it straight down. I'm gonna turn the drone this way. I'm getting warnings I don't like. So we're gonna stay in the same distance off of the ground. Oh, 
We're gonna go right over that. I think this intersection is a great spot. So we're gonna start the panel there. Now I'm gonna walk up close to it. Because last thing I wanna do is lose connection. Got that warning again. High velocity winds, guys. So if this thing takes a good panoramic, I'm gonna be super impressed because it's fighting a lot of wind up there. But if you look at the picture, I mean, it's very stable. So so with this high velocity wind, I think this is gonna be my last flight, guys. It's gonna be my last pano. Then I'm gonna bring her down. Until it's safe. So the cars aren't around. Landing. All right, guys. So now that we're in the car, I want to show you guys how to get your panos on the phone. So if you hit the play button down in the bottom corner, we've got three panos. Um, so I'm gonna click the second one because I think that one's gonna be my favorite. And we're gonna stitch it. All right, here it goes, stitching them. What? So that's it, guys. That's pretty cool. Um, look at that image, guys. The only issue I have is right there. But it even tries to fill in the sky, which is pretty cool. Um, but yeah, guys, that seam is a little messed up. You can fix that in Roll World um, or Photoshop. Um, but the fact that the, the app does it for you is pretty awesome. Um, so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to save that puppy. All right, so that's exported. All right, guys, so now I have it in the Theta Plus app. And this is the app, the app that comes with um it's actually just free from the the app store um but what i like to do is i like to hit little planet and i'm gonna zoom in and i'm gonna get it at the angle that i want i'm thinking right there is where i want it all right so i'm gonna hit next Next, I don't want to put any filters on it. Um, don't even really want to crop it right now. And we're going to save it to my camera roll. And I want to make it as big as possible. I'm going to open up Snapseed. This is the application by Google, so I'm going to tap anywhere to open an image. And I'm going to open this one that I just made. Um, and so I'm going to go in here and edit. I'm gonna crop the image. About. Crop the image there. Now the only really healing that I need to do is that little seam. So I'm gonna go in here and I'm gonna click healing. I'm gonna zoom in as close as I can. We're gonna undo that. We'll get over to the seam. I'm just going to fix it. All right. So that didn't fix it. So we're going to try that again.
There, that fixed it. You can kind of still tell where it is because you know where it was, but most people won't see that. And then I'm going to come in here. I'm going to go to HDR scape. And nature usually does pretty good, but people, I tend to like people a little bit better now. And then I'm going to go to tune my image. Um, I always have to play with the warmth a little bit. And then I'm going to do saturation some more. And contrast. And that's good to go. And then I think I'm going to crop it a little bit more. To about there. There you go, guys. And then we're going to export it. And basically what it's going to do is just save all the changes into the image. That's it, guys. We're going to upload that to Instagram and be good to go. So thanks for watching. I hope this was helpful. Um, leave me comments on what, you got, what kind of videos you guys want to see. Um, I do drone videos, 360 videos, planet videos, um, software tutorials. I'm a graphic designer by trade, so... Um, I'm a pro at Photoshop and a lot of other applications. So let me know what you want to see. Peace out, guys. All right, guys. So that was a DJI Mavic Pro using pano mode, sphere mode to uh, take a 360-degree image. So if you like these videos, uh, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Um, and it helps for my uh, self-esteem if you like me and like this video. So, peace out, guys.